Uh, wonder if she knows Oscar the Grouch. Mm -mm. Now who would get rid of such a nice bunk bed? Although I guess they kept the mattress. But just look, free lumber. Probably should clear these cobwebs. Think this boot's any good? Ah, it's like our own little slice of heaven. The sides need a little something. Let's add some insulation tape. Just add everything in a nice crisscross pattern. Any colors you want. Don't forget that there's more than one side. I guess we can leave the front one alone. But let's do something special for the back. Just staple a sheet or old curtain onto the wall. Probably should do something about the top, too. Excuse us, we just need to borrow this. Thank you. Toilet paper is so versatile. Just fold it up. Add some cuts to give it some fringe. And attach a bunch to the top in layers. Just imagine running your fingers through all this. Ooh, must have gotten the ultra soft kind. Look, a box of stuff we can use. Pop it toys. And they're the perfect shape for our new floor. Think of all the bubbles you can pop just by lying down. And then some. You know what they say, one man's trash is another's treasure. Uh, make that pillow stuffing. Trash makes for an excellent pillowing stuffing. Out of many pillows can come, well, a really big pillow. It's like staples can fix up anything. Wow, a free tire just rolled along to us. Let's give it a fresh coat of paint. And add some planks of wood inside. It can be a shelf for books, or whatever you need shelves for. This guy isn't gonna do an ollie anytime mm. soon. Still, that's one way to get a free skateboard. Besides, all it needs is a little love. And duct tape, especially the duct tape. Some glitter can't hurt either. Pour it on. With all this glitter, this board's gonna be pink. Told ya. Hang it up, and it's the perfect place for our pigeon. Okay, the bin's been doing that thing again. Oh, it's a neon LED strip. No wonder it's so bright. Let's add some color with this tape. And hang it up in our secret room. Ooh, a heart. Do you think this trail leads somewhere? Ooh, even more blocks. Just imagine all the different things we can build with them. Like this cute little chair. And it's just right for Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> Looks like someone's getting a room warming present. Just can't beat shiny gift wrap. Let's wrap it around this circular base. Now we just need something to stand it on. And maybe some decorations around the border. It's a brand new reflective table. This sock has seen better days. Let's add it to the wall. Pouches aren't just for marsupials. Why stop at just one? Ah, what a busy day of building stuff. 
Well, there's no use crying over spilled paint. Let's hope Mr. Bear here is super absorbent. Don't worry, this nice big pillow should help dry you off. Now we've got our own teddy bear pillow. Hey, watch the cow! Oh great, it's broken. Better hide the evidence. Okay, you really need to stop stepping on animals. Oh, I see. You're using them for your next craft. Just needs a little something. Aha, some wood. It can hold all these animal pieces. So they can help hold everything else up. They're our new hangers. Oh, I don't think anyone's using that potted plant. Although we really only need the pot for now. Just like how we really only need this dustpan. Let's pour some paint, or should I say paints, inside. Pour over the pot turned upside down and watch the colors blend. Don't let everything blend too much, or it will all be one mucky color. Once it dries, we can turn it right side up. What else can we do? Maybe these pool noodles can help. All you need to do is break it apart. Now we'll need to slice a wedge out from the side. Cut out a few more to give it some ridges. It's a toy cactus. It'll need some bristles. Good thing she's got plenty of hair to spare. Besides, hair has that crazy habit of growing back. Add a bunch in a pattern, and our cactus is looking good. And it's the perfect fit for our little multicolored pot. Look, there's plenty of room on the pigeon swing. Wow, an old boot. And there's plenty of things inside. Do you think this paper cup is still good? For starters, let's see if it can still hold straws. Let's mix things up. Add a balloon on top. Oh, and happy birthday! Our little hot air balloon could use some decorations too. Don't forget, we'll also need some passengers. Since it's pretty grounded, it can be a neat centerpiece. We deserve a snack. Maybe something to wash it down with. Better yet, we can make something with this straw. Cut it in half and join it back together at an angle. Make a bunch for some geometric shapes. Hexagons! Hang it up on the wall. And it's the perfect place for all your favorite photos. As I always say, there's always room for balloons. Besides, this way, your place is always ready for a party. In other words, it's always a good time for company. Besides, you gotta show off all this stuff. And most of these things are real conversation starters. And after all that work, the best part is just getting to relax afterwards. Huggy Wuggy could sure get comfortable here. And this is the perfect spot for a little romantic moment. Watch out for that lid. Careful, that pigeon's a rental. Now to make a lovely duvet cover from these underpants. Uh, you got a little something? Actually, she looks good with a mustache. Okay, seriously, did you see Oscar? I want his autograph. Just like mom used to make. Trash-tastic stuff. Catch you next time.